What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another vintage cube draft. That's another stipulation. I got them lined up. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying them on YouTube. And uh, the stipulation this time is Force Naya colors. You can only splash other colors for power. So we are going to be Naya. And we're going to open a mana drain, unfortunately. That's power, but we're not going to be able to splash that efficiently. So for Naya, we're eh, maybe the Naya land is probably better than Sylvan Library. We're going to pass a Mana Drain, which is pretty comical. Because someone's going to be like, alright, thanks. But it's either Sylvan Library or Sacred Foundry. Sylvan Library is probably one of the best Naya cards, I would imagine, in this cube. However, then you have uh, a Sacred Foundry, which is double of our lands. I'll take a library. We can probably get... Yeah, see, look, here's a Needle Spires. Bird of Paradise, also very, very good. I like these being uh, being sorted in the in the color order. It makes it a lot easier to parse. Like I can be like, okay, so we're, we're red and white and green, so we can actually Elspeth Sun's Champion might be better than birds. We can probably get other bird-like picks, whereas Elspeth Sun's Champion just wins the game. Uh, also, bird might theoretically come back. Lotus Cobra seems pretty good. Wear Tear actually seems pretty main deckable. Uh, I like this Garrick, but I don't think it's the one of the best. Lotus Cobra actually helps fix our mana, so I'm going to take the Lotus Cobra. Ideally, Wear Terror comes back, but, uh, Wrath of God. Yeah, I have my Elder. I'm going to take this Raging Ravine. And maybe this Inspiring Vantage. If one of these two come back, I'll be thrilled. But it feels like, it feels like we have a lot of, uh, very, very low picks in Naya in these packs that could come back, which is pretty sweet. Windswept Heath. Probably better than an Imperial Recruiter and a Harmonize. I like Harmonize a lot, but we already have Sylvan Library, so I'm going to take the Windswept Heath. That is a pretty good one. Also, we do have Lotus Cobra, so Windswept Heath is even better. Corsair of Crufix, Oblivion Ring. Fiery Confluence is super strong, but um, we're also passing Mystic Confluence, so someone's getting a, a real choice blue deck right now. We're passing Mana Drain, Mystic Confluence, and Control Magic. I think it's Oblivion Ring. It's a little more versatile than Corsair. Easier to cast. It gets rid of things like the aforementioned Control Magic. I haven't seen any red cards that I'm super eager to take, but Corsair is pretty good with library. That is correct. Oh, what up, Dandy Long Legs? Congrats on the new job, buddy. Nahiri. Oh, that's a card that we want. I like a Bloodbraid Elf, too, but I think Nahiri is a little bit stronger, especially considering we could get, like, an Emrakul or an Ulamog or an Emramog. And a Johnny. Also pretty good. And a Teferi in there. Yeah, I'll take an Johnny. Pretty easy picks. I like a Manglehorn a lot. Manglehorn is main deckable in this format as far as I'm concerned. If Manic Vandal is main deckable, Manglehorn is even better.
Colonnade no bueno. Kitchen Finks is fine. It's obviously not Mana Flare or Bonfire, so. Wear Tear did come back. I also like Soulfire Grandmaster, but I like it better in blue decks where I can copy a Time Walk. Wark. Whereas Wear Tear is actually just a legitimate sideboard card that we can definitely use. Um, uh, none of these cards are super exciting. We can bring in Timely for the red deck if we play against it, I guess. Spencer, take it easy, buddy. Always a pleasure. Phil Kamani, what's going on, buddy? Oh, Harmonize came back. That's pretty gas. May I ask your cue in the stip decks? It's actually after this one. I'm not sure if we're gonna... Courser came back. That's gas. I'm not sure if we're going to do it today, but it, it is the next one up. There's an Emrakul, and we do have the Nahiri. There's also a Primeval Titan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dang. Also a stomping ground. It's got to be Emrakul, right? I'm going to take the Emrakul. Also, if we get it through the Breach, it's significantly good. Uh, I like Land of Elves, but I'm just going to take this Boros Signet because it fixes two of our colors, whereas it's it's also a little less... Uh, we can we can get more of these. A double on-color Signet is probably more rare. <laughs> he, he said before another one got passed. I, I'll still play two. It's more than fine. Thrag Tusk, pretty oak. Oh, through the breach. Oh boy, are we breaching? Oh, we're breaching, all right. Oh, we're breaching. Two card combo. Get breached on. Council's Judgment, this is like one of the best removal spells in the cube. It gets sort of indestructible things, it gets sort of hexproof things, it gets sort of things that can't even be targeted by you, like True Name Nemesis. So I'm pretty okay with that. I do love a Frailies. I also like a Search for Tomorrow. Uh, I don't like Fetch Lane because we have literally nothing to get with it. Like, it just doesn't do any good. I mean, if we get if we get a Stomping Ground or a Steam Vent, I will value it higher. I like Frailies. I I think I like it more than Search here because we have Lotus Cobra, Boros Signet, Boros Signet. And Frailies does a lot. Inferno Titan is a gentleman. I think it's probably better than Rexage. Survival actually gets us Emrakul. That's interesting. It can also search for like a Manglehorn if we need it. Um, we don't have that many creatures though. We only have five creatures. Yeah, I think we're just going to go Titan here. Tooth and Nail, also pretty good with an Emrakul. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to take the Tooth and Nail here. We don't... Oh, Stomping Ground comes back? Yes, please. Yes, please. Like, Tooth and Nail for Inferno Titan Emrakul. Like, it, this is just another... E Even if you literally just put Emrakul into play, it's still a 7-mana Emrakul. So, cool beans. I like a Goblin Dark Dwellers. I mean, what can we hit? We can only hit, really, Council's Judgment right now. It's not Harpy to Spring. It might just be Lightning Strike, but Goblin Dark Dwellers has the potential to be a lot better. Bronto Dawn, pretty good. I don't think we want Double White Knight here. I'll just take the Bronto Dawn. Aleshnorn also pretty good with the tooth and nail. Not gonna lie. 
Why would he lie about that? That doesn't even make any sense. Kiki G. Oh, Resto is actually pretty sick with Infernal Titan. Um, I imagine we can get other things that's good with Manglehorn. Yeah, the Resto is definitely the pick here. That's a great, that's a great pickup. Yeah, we'll take Flicker Wisp. I don't think we're gonna be fire blasting. And we get the survival anyway. So no power here. Natural order, but none of our none of our big dudes are green. <sighs> this pack's actually pretty bad for us. Chandra Flamecaller might be like the best card in this pack for us, but. I mean, it could just be pride. It's, pr it's probably pride mage, right? If you rest out through the breach creature, does it stay on the board? Yes, it does, actually. We have to have nine mana to do that, but actually at the beginning of the... Oh, actually we can do an EOT and then resto it on our turn. That's actually pretty good. It's definitely not a natural order deck. I guess it's just Chandra? Or Pride Mage. Like the thing is about Pride Mage, we already have Manglehorn, Fraley's, Wear Tear, and Thrashing Brontodon. We just don't need that effect. And Chandra is just a solid six mana planeswalker. I'm just hoping for some more ramp here. Wall of Roots is pretty good ramp. Yeah, Wall of Roots pretty easy to drop. It's a third, it's a third pick Mox Emerald. And a plateau. But this is a third pick Mox Emerald. I'm going to take the on-color Mox. Splinter Twin. Oh, where's our Zealous Conscripts when we need it? That was a third pick Mox Emerald. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Master Hunt Master of the Fell is also pretty good. I, a Rish Car also reasonable. We can put it on Lotus. We can put counters on Wall of Roots and Lotus Cobra. Uh, my problem with Rish Car is that we don't have ways to ramp from two to... Th from one to three. We have ways to ramp from two to four, though. I think it's actually Huntmaster. Oracle of Moldiah and a Dragonlord Jermoka. Could just be land tax here. I mean, we're already going to have to make a cut here, so. Probably Dark Dwellers. I don't see that guy getting the, making the cut. <sighs> Oracle's pretty good in terms of rampage. Yeah, we're just going to take the Oracle here. Copperline Gorge, Master Wild Hunt, Ugin. If Ugin had better synergies with Through the Breach... Or Tooth and Nail, I'd probably take an Ugin, but... I think we just want the Copper Line Gorge. We also only have red-green fixing lands. I kind of want a, a white fixing land. But I also just kind of want a fixing land here in general. Stirring Wild would be pretty good. Um, face Fetters. Also, we're passing the guy the guy who got the Mana Drain, the, cryptic, the, crypt, the Mystic Confluence, and the Control Magic is now getting Cryptic Command, so... I'm going to take Stirring Wildwood. I just want to make sure we have the most. Guess we're going to have to make another cut, guys. Yeah, we'll just take Pride Mage for the sideboard. Wow. I think Resto actually doesn't make the cut here. There's not that many things to blink. Actually, I'm going to cut Chandra. This is actually one of the better Chandras, so I'll take this. We still didn't get a... I don't think the mo the Plateau didn't come back, unfortunately. And we also didn't get a, a, a White Land to get with Windswept Teeth, so I guess it's just Plains. The Plateau did come back. In my face, I guess. Alright. Splinter Twin comes back. I'm going to take the Jade Light Ranger because... 
reasons. Actually, I might like Jade Light Ranger better than Kitchen Finks. It could hit us. It could just draws us lands. Could just draws us lands. That's good. That's solid English. Eh, take a Tundra. Whatever. Deny someone a Tundra. Pff, even that guy's not terrible. I think I like Jade Light over Kitchen Finks, as I mentioned. We still need one cut here. Like, we could put Manglehorn in the sideboard. Maybe Tooth and Nail doesn't make the cut. Like, our only real Tooth and Nail targets are these three. But I guess if we have Emrakul in hand, Tooth and Nail is just really good. This looks all in before we face opponents with it all and turn two kills. Big fan, big fan. Yeah, I think this I think this went well. Also, this is a lot of good lands, so. This does look 41. You don't like the look of this deck? What don't you like about it? We have Nahiri and Tooth and, and Through the Breach with Emrakul. We have Tooth and Nail for Aleshnor and Emrakul Inferno Titan. We have multiple game-winning Planeswalkers. We have a lot of very, very valuable uh, utility disruption cards. We have a ton of card advantage. And so I like this. I think this deck looks great. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources. We can probably get on to, to nine, I guess. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Add you here. One, two. Uh, actually, we'll probably add one here. Three, four, five, six. And we'll add one more. 41 cards, 16 lines. Yeah, let's do this. This seems great. Uh, I like Huntmaster better than Kavu by a by a sizable margin. Oh, uh, let's play first. Yeah, this hand seems good. Music Manly, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thanks for the support and for hanging out. Appreach. Did not get got. I was worried about the gotten because. Two lands now, eh? Pretty sure we're not harmonizing. I don't I don't know if we're Nahirying here either. What are the odds they have a two mana counter spell? It's gotta be like a million, right? I think we can wait a turn. I don't know why I'm opening the reveal zone like they're going to show me what they... What do you get? What'd you go with Impulse? Oh, you're making me... 
You're my best friend. All right, this is actually a pretty good turn, I think. I think we can get away with it this time. We can play around lots of things. No, we can't play around mana leak, but we can not care about a remand. Seems good. 8% chance. 8% chance they have it. Oh, well, that's pretty good. <sighs> I guess I will vote for Nahiri. But we do get to resolve in Infernal Titan or Frailies, which is pretty sweet. Um, probably want just a Frailies here. One, two, three, four, five, seven mana on board. I don't want to go Inferno Titan because if they have like Frexian, uh, Metamorph, if they have Phantasmal Image, if they have. I guess Phantasmal Image would be the least concerning. But it, we don't have anything to kill with our Inferno Titan, and they could easily just moat. I mean, I have a Frailies on board. It's intriguing. All right, well, I'm just going to get rid of this. Tooth and Nail seems good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we just win next turn. Uh... Heavens to Betsy. Um, well, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is this just tooth and nail turn? Do we just tooth and nail here? Mentor. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, my concern is that they have mana tithe or mana mana things. One, two. I'm just gonna play Mirari's Wake here to be safe because that's pretty strong. <laughs> yep. Glad we didn't tooth and nail here. Um, play this guy. We haven't used a single counter on this wall of roots yet, which is kind of funny. All right, enjoy your five mana, I guess.
Alrighty then. True name nemesis. Okay, so I think they die here. I think that's probably game. Because they could unless they have literal force of will. Uh we can play around pretty much everything at this point, so. Put on top. Put on top. All right, so one, two, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So unless they have Force Spike and, nope, they don't. Okay, Emrakul, Alesh Norn. Attack your face, attack Gideon. Create a dude. All right. Mavaka goes, take it easy, buddy. I mean, even if they Wrath here, we have Emrakul. They're just going to pass. Intriguing. Cryptic Command? It's got to be Cryptic Command, tap, draw, right? Or tap bounce Emrakul. No, they can't actually target Emrakul. They are choosing their cryptic command modes. It's probably under Shell Dock Isle. Return Frailies. Okay. Should have tapped those guys for mana to Raging Ravine here. One, two, three. Activate. We could attack for seven here, but I think we're still fine. I'm just going to replay Frailies. Two, three. I mean, Mana Leak is one of the cards we can play around here. I mean, they could have upheaval, which is pretty bad. Here comes the upheaval. That's pretty gas. I mean, upheaval is the one card I'm afraid of here, but they didn't seem like an upheaval deck. Especially with Monastery Mentor and no mana sources so far. Yeah, you're not going to play Amisha's Workshop and then upheaval, so. I'd like to see seven more cards to make sure that I have lost. Okay. Fascinating. I still have Frailies on the board. Uh, 
that's fine. Just put put on top. Put on top. This is also an artifact. I guess we could have just killed this with, uh, and then just one. All right, that'll do. I guess that's all they need to see. Seems good. All right, so what did we see that we care about? Wear tear takes care of moat. It also takes care of Phyrexia and Metamorph, which is not too bad. Council's judgment is good. I mean, we already have Manglehorn and Fraley's in the main deck, and those are pretty useful. Yeah, we could have we could have uh, we could have targeted Emrakul, but then we can only attack with Emrakul. Um, I don't think that would have been a win, but maybe it would have. It doesn't matter. We won the game anyway, so I'm not gonna not gonna stress about it too much. I think we're just gonna submit like this. I don't actually see that many flaws in the deck. Yeah, like yeah, we have Nahiri, Manglehorn, and Fraley's to deal with uh, artifacts, and then we have Fraley's and uh, we also have Council's Judgment, which deals with all those things as well. Uh, this hand is great. Turn one library, yes please. Actually, turn one Signet lets us play turn two Oracle of Moldia, which is probably better. Can we target the Emrakul? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Hurricane Rue. Because it only has protection from spells, not... Uh... Come on, land on top one time. Dang it, Signet. Oh, I got a little tundra. Basalt monolith. Excuse me. That's nice. That's also nice. A one and a two. Seems good. Shackles, huh? That's pretty good. Except you only have two islands, so you can't steal our Oracle of Moldia. I'm okay with this. Oh, that's not an island, my boy. I'm not sure why you tapped the monolith for this guy, but I'm sure you have a reason. Gideon? Unexpectedly absent for one. So we're going to end up drawing this. Sure. Yeah, might as well get in there for two, see what happens. Let's tap correctly. Hmm. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, can we draw that right now? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can go wake into Huntmaster, which is pretty cool. Three, four, five. Wake. We can also just go Signet into Library. Yeah, Manglehorn's a pretty insane draw. <laughs> 
And they still only have two islands, so everything on, on board is live right now. Why well, get in for four when you can sneak in too? Uh, we didn't get four in because we wanted to trick them into blocking and then kill them with the Eleshnorn. Sometimes there's more important things in a game of magic than two extra damage. And we're putting the kibosh on this Vidalkin Shackles here. Yep. Council's Judgment. It's pretty good. Targeting what? I wonder. Eleshnorn, I imagine. Yep, that's a good one. That is a good one. Thankfully, this Marari's way keeps you... Why didn't you attack there? Yeah, she got Vidge, right? Our board's pretty pretty nutso right now. We have a lot of things going on. Um, put you on top. We'll pay four to keep you in hand. One and two. I want to mangle with you. <clears throat> We're mangling. And I hope you like mangling too. Corsair of Krufix. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They have shackles. Make a dude. Yeah, sure. They have two cards, we have no cards. They have shackles, they have an island, that, so they can now steal, like, Huntmaster or Oracle of Moldaya. Which is fine. I'll just kill whatever you do. Yep, that's fine. They could flip this guy. Just not play anything. Ooh, that's what they're going to do. That's exciting. Yep. Deal two to something. Not really relevant. Neither of the decks have two cards in hand. Or 20 cards in the library, rather. That's what I meant. Hello! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... Yeah, we're just going to keep that. Holy smokes. Uh, put you on top. Put you on top. Just hard cast Emrakul like you do. Thank you. Doesn't matter. Can't be countered, and we take an extra turn, so that seems fine. Dom da da dom da da dom da da dom dom dom. One, two, three, four, doesn't matter. You'll probably be dead. One, two, three. All our guys are three, three, so that should do it. Tom, man, thank you so much for the 29 months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. I mean, they could theoretically play two spells here and flip this guy, but one of them... No, they only have one card in hand, so that is not happening. They go to one, 
Alright, I'll take my next turn. We're not even going to use this because I don't even know if it triggers like when it's... One, two, three, four, five. So many things are happening. Shoot you for three. And that'll do. All right. Sometimes you just hard cast an Emrakul. That seems good. Oh, my matchmaking failed. That's sad. This hand is super slow. Yeah, we got a mulligan this hand. Man, this hand's better. This hand's a lot better, actually. Mox? Wall of Roots? Yeah, I'll keep a Wall of Roots. Sure. If we hit a land, we can go Gruel Signet into Corsair or Jade Light Ranger. Or Fellows. That's that's a spicy meatball. We want to hit a land here, so I'm just gonna just gonna do this jobby. Uh, graveyard. And we hit a land, okay. Well, that is a thing. So if you play a forest, three, four, five, six, seven mana, that's pretty good. Coercive portal? Not the most, uh... One, two, three, four, five... We can go coarser into land. Yeah, let's do that. Muldaya. Mully Dully. Alright. I guess we're choosing homage here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana. Inferno Titan would be great. Just kill the Death Rite Shaman and the Rafellus. Also, Rafellus is doing some some minimal work here with only two two forests. Five colors. Sorcery. 
instant or creature with five or less. What's the worst you can do? This might have just been an effort to get the best they could. Bribery seems good. Uh, I imagine you're getting a Leshnorn here. That's rough. Thankfully, we have Emrakul in hand, but a Leshnorn is still pretty brutal. <laughs> Not really great. Uh, Yoakum, 52 months, dude. Thank you so much, buddy. I don't think we have an answer for Eleshnorn unless there is an Elspeth on top, which is actually insane. We get to kill Eleshnorn and Rafelos now. Oh boy, that was a good draw, my friends. Unfortunately, we do lose the Wall of Roots. Them's the breaks, though. Wow. Plus, we have Marari's Wake into a Lesh into Elspeth. Oh my God. That's the most baller thing ever. Are you gonna choose Carnage this time? Homage again? All right, you got it. You got it. That Elspeth on the top, man. 52 months. That's a whole year. Yoakum, that's true. That is a whole year, buddy. Happy one year anniversary, Yoakum. All 52 months of it. I feel like Mirari's wake into Elspeth tokens into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're not we're not at Emerald Kill yet, but we can also hit a land off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, 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 thirteen. Three we're three lands away from an Emerald. That seems good. I'm satisfied the way with the way this game turned out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, I want to choose homage again. You can draw all the cards you want now, buddy. Two, three for Coalition Relic. Yeah, these are not the cards that are going to get the job done. The five-year badge. Oh, we're getting close, Yoakum. We're getting close. Yoakum, I really appreciate you still subscribing, even though you barely play. I don't think you play much Magic anymore. That's good stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is, we're, we're one land away from, uh, from old, from old Emmy in hand. That's pretty gas. Are we just going to hard cast Emrakul again? Because that's a cool thing to do. Oh, this is too much mana. That's way too much mana. This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten mana right now, so they could Ulamog get rid of Elspeth Marari's Wake. I don't foresee that happening. All right, they chose green. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess if they play, uh... I guess if they play Ulamog and I'll San Exile these two, they probably die. Oh, man. This deck is actually gas. Uh, Yoakum, we have Through the Breach and Tooth and Nail. So, we have both of those bad boys. They have Coalition Relic and Coercive Portal. Bribery and Bring to Light are actually pretty scary. Is this their way of suiciding themselves? Are they gonna... Okay, they didn't take three. Oh god. I'm actually scared of what's happening right now. I don't think anything's really... That's actually not that bad. They can negative Elspeth, but then it kills their their Emer their Ulamog. And we get a turn after this, so... I don't think there's anything they can really do here that hurts us. I mean, you could... You can't even attack, really, to throw my guys away. Like, killing Elspeth's the worst you can do here, and you still just die to that. Alright, thanks for the life. Preach. Alright, that'll do. I think they're just like, oh, let me see one more card. Alright, cool. Emrakul's a little scary. Um, I feel like Wear Tear can come in here. When they steal, like, an Emrakul or something, how do we get it back? They have basically two briberies in their deck, which is pretty scary. I actually might want to take Emrakul and Aleshenorn out because of their briberies. Oh, Nahiri, yeah. So we actually have Nahiri... Um, we have Nahiri, Tooth and Nail, and Through the Breach. So we have several ways to actually put a, an Emrakul into play. But the fact that they have two briberies is a little scary to us. Theoretically, we could just keep them off of artifact mana. Oh, Flicker Wisp seems like gas, actually. We Flicker Wisp whatever they get. Oh, I like that a lot, dude. We'll take out the Jade Light Ranger and we'll take out... I'm going to take out Huntmaster. Huntmaster seems kind of underwhelming. Yeah, this hand's pretty brutal. Probably not keeping this bad boy. This is much better. I will keep this. You can go on the bottom. I like turn one Sylvan Library. That's a card. Gorge, Mox, Library. Also, if we just naturally draw Emrakul, uh, that's pretty good. Flicker Wisp can target Big Emmy because it's not a spell. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, Put you on top. Pay four to keep you in hand. Lotus Cobra, Raging Ravine, and next turn we get to Emrakul. Survive one time. Q 
Can we... So they don't have two blue, so that's cool. No Alessian Orns. Oh god, we're gonna... They're gonna sack their whole board. They're sacking their entire board. They're at 15. They're basically dead. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, mm We're doing it. They have literally six permanents. That's perfect. Uh, put on top. And a put on top. Yes. Add a red. Cast you. Kill him. Boom. That'll do. Emrakul's a heck of a card, ladies and gentlemen. Was that turn three? I guess so, because we played all the land every turn. Yeah, that was, that, was, uh, that was a solid turn three. That was a solid turn three. I like how the Naya Stiff is our most combo-like deck in a while. Yeah, the Naya Stiff is better than the infinite combo deck. I will play first. I will mulligan this hand all day. Oh, this hand's slow but better. Yoakum, did you just have your 22nd birthday? Is that why you're 20? Is that when did you when was your 22nd birthday, buddy? How did I miss that? Feels bad. Look at this! Look at this fair hand we have. I'm not gonna go to five. This hand is per perfectly reasonable. Oh, Yoakum, happy twenty second birthday, buddy! Thoughtsies. That's admirable. I see you creeping, buddy. I see you creeping. <laughs> okay well that's pretty good sure you said four things dang ideal top deck well I mean it is if we actually draw let's go let's go land into through the breach how about that Oh, I see. You just want to show me up with my gruel signet. Abrade your gruel signet. That's what I'm going to do. Revoker? Dang. That's messed up. You're going to name your own gruel signet? Wow. You shut off your own gruel signet. What a dummy. What a dummy. Just to spite me. I don't know. Gitaxium Probe and Frex. Uh, 
This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You got out of four cards here? That's a lot of things. Did they... Okay. Nizumi Short Fang. Watch them get rid of Emrakul. They're like, you'll never, you'll never be able to... They have three cards in hand. This is very interesting. Fracturing Gus would be such gas. We're definitely bringing in, like, Wear Tear and uh, Pride Mage and stuff. Oh, you got my Resto. All right. Through the Breach, land. That's the only th cards we want to draw. And then we'll we'll just call it a day. What is even happening right now? This is just redonkulous. Let's get rid of this Tezzeret. Because that guy ultimating next turn seems pretty bad. Five, 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 five. Yeah, we'll, we'd be dead. That was a pretty good draw. Planes, sure. Not a card we care about. I hope they top deck a, an Eldrazi. I hope it's literally at one of the two Emrakuls. You got it. Stay of execution over. I mean, either way, it adds one mana, right? Like, a Lotus Cobra adds a mana if we hit a land. Uh, but if we hit a land, we can already cast Marari's Wake, so... <laughs> oh, such gas. Such gasolines. Never gonna happen. Oh wow, you just drew literal two planes with Dark Confidant. That is impressive. We're still not dead yet. Like, this is pretty ridiculous. Dark Confidant's like the only gas they have left. Through the Breach is literally mind-blowingly good right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So is Tooth and Nail. They hit an Urborg. So now we know your hand is Urborg and two other cards. This is a lot. This is a lot of mana. Okay. Just unexpectedly absent for a million. Sure. That's brutal. Through the Breach one time. Planes. Sure. Coercive Portal. All right. You're at eight. Seems good. So we know two of the four cards in your hand. Aleshnorn, less good right now. What was the unexpectedly absent for? Seven? Jesus. Jesus. That's a good that's a good one. Now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I can be your hero, baby. I can wipe away your tears. This guy, this guy. Muy bueno. That's, 
That's uh, so how we do it, the boys. Take you out. Take a Jade Light Ranger out. Brought in Pride Mage and this guy. Flicker Wisp seems good because it does kill things like uh, Chrome Mox. That was a pretty good. Ah, I like it a lot. Um, I mean, wear tear, Emrakul in hand. I'll keep this because we have a way to deal with an artifact and a ramp spell, so. Sure. I mean, they didn't really do anything for a million turns, but we did draw Oblivion Ring for Tezzeret, which would have killed us. We drew Council's Judgment for Tezzeret, which would have killed us. But on the same hand, they drew double mocks in their opening hand. So, like, you know, whatever. Four mana on turn two. Seems good. Brimaz, the king of cats. I like Manglehorn into Blinking Manglehorn. That seems great. Another oh wow, that's great. That's that's fantastic. It's very rude. Well, that's cute. Burp, 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 burp. Beans and cornbread. Yeah, this Brimaz is really killing us, which is ironic. I just want to point out that enchantments are harder to resolve and it costs less mana to kill than artifacts. And it makes no sense to me. That's fair. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to take six next turn. It's not great. Council's Judgment. Alright, they're just keeping me on two lands. We're just dead here. Which is fine. Sometimes you're going to get that aggressive draw. But our, our draw was not that great. And uh, I'm pretty okay with our odds in the next game. Also, Flame Tongue Kavu kills Brimaz. Which is pretty good. This hand is real slow. I'm going to mulligan even though we have through the Breach in it. Uh, this hand's also pretty slow, but at least we can do stuff. Mr. Bubbles, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, this seems fine. Don't be creeping in here, man. Yo, let me let me say hey, let me say hey to you in a minute. I'm almost done. Oh, the old uh, Mox into turn one thing again. All right. So no game did they have less than three mana on turn two. Yep. That's pretty good. If we draw a Mox here, it'd actually be insane. Four, 
frantic search. Are we just dead here? Is this where their their deck shines? This is the one match where their deck or the one game where their their deck just goes insane. Discard two planes, untap two lands. They have three cards in hand, which is not super impressive. Mentor, Mox, Hellspeth. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm going to cut them off a land here. Both Nahiri and Johnny take care of this guy. I think they're probably going to make some tokens. <laughs> Chrome Mox. Sure. Sure. Consecrated Sphinx gets exiled. Wow. Boy, oh boy. Oh, come on. Come on. Draw your two best cards. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. The odd thing is their deck doesn't seem great. It just seems like it has all these, like, individually powerful cards. Like, this is double blue. This is... This is off color. You have like signets that you don't actually have spells for. Like it's very strange. Like honestly, our mentor is just a card that that's good with spells, and you just happen to have a chrome box and a dig through time. So interesting, interesting. I'll take four. Of course, one of the few matches where we don't get to play our lands. That's... Sure. Oh, comical. Oh, I'll replay my mox. Yep, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Basically dead here. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's game. All right. Unfortunately, we did not get to play a lot of spells in that game. Game one was great, and then game two and three, they just didn't let us play Magic. Well, I think they tried to deny us playing Magic in game one, too, but we were able to combat that because they had nothing else to do, really. Um, either way, that simulation was super sweet, and uh, for a Naya deck, that was surprisingly combo-rific. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. If you want to submit a stipulation or a deck critique, you can do that in my Twitch profile. There's, there's instructions on how. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Appreciate the support.